Hi. One of the things that's taken me a long time to learn in business is that giving a little leeway does you no good at all. The reality is business is primarily black and white with very few shades of grey. Now this can seem tough, but it's actually supported statistically in various studies on empathy and decision making and the consequent outcomes. I recently read a really good case study about decision making in the army that was even more telling. They basically monitored the potential casualties of outcomes where facts were considered or where empathy was employed. And what output do you think had the best results? Uh, surprisingly, the outcome where the facts only were employed, less casualties resulted in the long term, even if some tough decisions needed to be made. But in the bigger picture, that cooler, non-empathetic decision making actually worked for the greater good. So decision making unfettered by the consideration of the people element gave the best result. So in running your own business, how many times a week do you reckon you bend the rules, make allowances, don't impose 100% discipline, particularly on the people in your business? If you are anything like how I used to be, um, then you employ this flexibility liberally. And I'm telling you now, it's not good for your business. The reality is we know people are people and stuff happens, but I highly recommend you toughen up and start treating your company's rules, your HR policy and your performance criteria with the discipline of Alex Ferguson, because this discipline is crucial. We've had like real examples in terms of low performance in a minority percentage of our network, but we were quite mellow about it, like really understanding and nurturing, and we haven't applied the rule of the law. But in the end, it's hurt us badly. While some will call it kindness, and we are kind people, but when we realise that by being kind to the individual, we were potentially harming everybody on the good ship diamond, it had to stop. This lack of performance can impact on our planned provision of services. So in trying to be kind to the individuals, in reality, we were not managing the best outcome for the majority. We needed to go back to the black and white application of our contracts, our manuals, our performance and legal criteria. No more shades of grey. And then when we looked at our credit control and our gentle handle on that, it's cost us nearly 50,000 in the last year. Again, being kind to the individuals has ended up hurting the wider company and HR. You know, we've been understanding about people's flakiness, but it's meant our whole business plans have been sliding because we haven't stuck to the law, the black and white, the fundamentals of our business. So I ask you, what shades of grey have you got in your business? And if you applied that black and white approach, how much better would your business perform? If you do the analysis, I think you'll be as surprised and potentially as gutted as I was. Um, we have and always will be a people company at Diamond, but to act in the best interest of the greater good, all our people, we know we'll be sticking more firmly to the rules. Um, let me know how applying that bit of discipline goes on, goes in your company. Now get cracking.